heel graag een warm keerpunt welkom voor Michael Weston King. Lovely to be here. It took me a long time to get here. I'll tell you about that in a moment. But let's play a, a song to start things. Um, I don't know if this is a, a blues festival, a folk festival, a country festival, a jazz festival, or just a gathering together of like-minded people. Maybe it's the latter. But uh, a freedom festival. Yeah. Is that what it is? Oh, okay. Shit. Okay. <laughs> I've got some freedom songs, <laughs> but just not this first one. All right. We 
are holding away. I buried my face, but it spoke once again. The night to the day we're abiding. And now the dark air, it's like fire on my skin. And even the moonlight is burning. And even the moonlight is blinding And even the moonlight is mentioned that yes there was a protest record released last year. Yeah. I think that's what he said. Wasn't it? Yeah, it was. <laughs> and um, I'll play a couple of songs from it and uh, the idea behind the record was originally to gather a lot of old protest songs. There are sadly hundreds and hundreds of very old protest songs which are still relevant today. Uh, and I started to do that and most of the songs on the record are old songs reinterpreted. But uh, I also wrote a couple and I'll uh, I'll play a couple of those now. This is uh, a song called Hey Ma, I'm Coming Home. I think I, maybe I played this last time I was here. It's uh, a song in the style of a letter from a, a young soldier who is uh, 20 years of age. Maybe he's American, maybe he's uh, English, maybe he's Dutch. But uh, wherever he's from, he's out serving in Afghanistan. And uh, at 16, it was his dream to join the army, and he did so. His mother wasn't very keen on the idea. His father was. He was very proud that he'd signed up because his father, too, had been a soldier. Uh, but uh, four years later, the boy, because he's still only 20, he's a boy. I've got three sons, and they're still boys to me, and even though they're all over 20. He's still right. He said, so four years later, he's writing home to his mum, saying, Mum, you know, I wish I'd listened to you. It's a song called Hey Ma, I'm Coming Home. to me that you wrote the news from home A bad chain in the girls Can't believe I missed their birthday Been three years in a row Hope they'll forgive me when they're older Hate how I miss them grow How is Jane? Does she cope without me? She never signed on for this. Guess it's something she's grown used to. I can still taste her farewell kiss. <laughs> but never more shall I roam. Guess what, my. I'm coming home Do you remember the day we signed up Fifteen young men proudly lined up You were scared But dad was proud Told your mother that I'd be alright Polished buttons, polished boots Wore my cap down over my eyes Guess I was hiding from the truth right now I couldn't tell you what is true Tell Pa it's not like his day We never see the whites of their eyes We never see who we're fighting Death just 
falls out of the sky And it's summertime It always feels like summertime Yes, it's summertime It always feels like summertime But never more Shall I roll Guess what my I'm coming home Home Where my thoughts are escaping Home Where my music's playing Home Where my love lies waiting Silently for So hot here on the tarmac, waiting as they load the crates. Me and Jack and Bill and Jimmy, I'm still here with all my mates. Remember Ma, you dance with Jimmy at my 18th birthday too. They made such a fuss of you, Ma, I think Bill quite fancied you. Well, Ma, I'm gonna sign off now. Time for me to get on that plane. My box will soon be loaded. Fifteen others that all look the same. Neatly stacked beside each other. Bill below me, Jim to my right. So tired, we will sleep forever. No one will wake us on this flight as we dream. Dream of coming home at least we'll leave you and we're coming home Ma we're coming home yes I'm coming home told you I'd be coming home Twenty-four hours ago, I was playing on the, the Norwegian island of Stockoy, which is uh, sort of on the out on the, the west coast. It's uh, about three hours' drive north of Trondheim, and um, yeah, and uh, so I, I finished playing at, at midnight, and um, the last ferry from the island left at 1:30 in the morning, and I was booked on a flight at six o'clock in the morning from Trondheim to Copenhagen to Hamburg. So the guy who was very kindly driving me around in Norway was going around these fjords and these narrow, windy lanes. And uh, anyway, we, we made it to the ferry and made it to the airport. And, and I made it to Hamburg and I collected my car and drove all the way here to Schweikibor. <laughs> I think I must have stopped about six times for Red Bull and black coffee. You know, <laughs> like and I got to Wilhelmina's lovely house by the canal. Well, you've all got houses by the canal, that's what I mean. But anyway, it's a lovely house and I just fell asleep for three hours and, oh, great. So, he didn't really want to know that, but anyway. Well, that's what I've been doing today, anyway. So. Another song from the same record, this is a song called The In Time. It 
excuse my guitar, I sat on the, on the bus on the tarmac of uh, Copenhagen Airport and watched as those lovely baggage handlers tend to do when they see a guitar. Oh! <laughs> it takes it a couple of days to recover after I've been through the plane. So. All right, I think we're okay. All right, song called In Time. Here we go. Hotel rooms is uh, or the only English speaking TV in hotel rooms in Norway is CNN, so I've been watching all the uh, start of the American uh, elections. In fact, they never seem to go away, they just seem to carry on and on all the time. But, uh, so it's come around again very quickly, worrying me. So. All right, uh, let's play this. 
This is a, a song that uh, was written by a, a guy called Jim Ford, a rather obscure uh, singer-songwriter from the late uh, 1960s. Anybody heard of Jim Ford? Yeah. yeah. Were you at the gig last time? <laughs> no. You're a music aficionado who no understands and uh, knows uh, obscure American songwriters. Well, Jim, there's no embarrassment to not to know about Jim Ford because even he's so obscure, even Jim Ford's own mother has never heard of him. Really obscure, but he did uh, make two very good records, which came out and uh, and disappeared without anybody really hearing them. But uh, they were reissued a couple of years ago, and uh, a few more people are getting to hear them now. This uh, <clears throat> is a song of his uh, called "The Sounds of Our Time." He wasn't really a protest singer or songwriter; he was more of a kind of country soul guy. A voice somewhere between Van Morrison and uh, the uh, recently sadly departed Levon Helm from the band. One of those kind of great voices like that. And his songs were a little bit in the style of the band, a little bit like that. Anyway, this is one of his that he, he wrote and recorded with uh, the great soul singer Bobby Womack. And uh, he only wrote one or two protest songs, but uh, they were pretty good. And this is one of them. A song called The Sounds of Our Time. I 
Rain can never get used to the sun. No, I'll never get used to the sun. No, 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 I'll never get used to the sun. songs now which uh, are connected by uh, a, a great uh, and dear friend of mine who very sadly died back in November. Is there anybody in the room familiar with the, the great Scotsman Jackie Levin? Anybody know that name? Yeah. Yeah. Jackie. One of you. <laughs> <laughs> if uh, you're looking for a new artist to discover then uh, um, you could do worse than check out Jackie Levin. Jackie uh, um, is a was a large, hulking Scotsman with a great sense of humour, a beautiful voice, a fantastic guitar style and a very poetic way of writing songs. He also told the rudest and dirtiest stories you could ever wish to imagine. So if you get some of his live records then you get the dirty stories as well, so it's a win-win situation. Uh, <clears throat> I've known Jackie, or I knew Jackie, for 15 years. He was uh, 12 years older than me and uh, a very dear friend, and somebody who I sort of uh, turn to often for advice uh, within this ridiculous business of the music industry. He made over 30 albums in his career, and uh, he probably had another 30 to make uh, when he sadly died at the age of 61. So I'm going to play two songs that are connected with him. The first one is uh, another song from this protest record. It's a song called Life is Fine. And when I told him about the idea for making this record, he didn't suggest old songs, he suggested some old poems. In particular, the poetry of a guy called Langston Hughes, great African-American poet writing in the 1930s. And uh, I went away and read a lot of uh, his poetry. And, and this poem in particular struck me. It's a song called, uh, well, a poem called Life is Fine. And uh, I added a tune to it, and so now it's a song. But... Uh, it's a song about, uh, the first two verses are, you know, pretty despairing. Things are so bad for this guy, he considers taking the ultimate, making the ultimate sacrifice and doing away with himself. And throwing himself in the river or jumping off the highest building he could find. But there is redemption in the last verse. And he fights back to live another day. And... Uh, Langston Hughes was writing under the banner of uh, the Weary Blues. That was like a movement at that time. So I thought it was appropriate to try and put a bit of a, a blues tune to it. So uh, I'm going to sit down and play this, if that's all right. So goodbye, everybody at the back. <laughs> Thank God, they say. <laughs> all right, a song called Life is Fine. Oh, and 
cold in that water it was cold. who uh, is uh, not particularly well known outside of America and uh, towards the end of Jackie's career he was um, inviting a lesser known artist to add one of their songs to the end of his current record uh, as a way of them getting across to a larger audience which was uh, a very uh, generous and uh, a real indication of the the spirit of Jackie that he was giving up one of his tracks to sort of introduce a, a new artist to to a wider audience and uh, <clears throat> that's how I heard this song and uh, and uh, I liked it so much that as I say when we played together we always did it 
the idea or the story of the song is of a um, a guy who hears about the death of a, an old flame, a former girlfriend, an old lover, and he goes along to the funeral to pay his respects. He's not seen her in many years, but it's the uh, the right thing to do. He thinks, even though they have you know been out of touch, and. Uh, Last November, when uh, Jackie died, I flew back from a tour I was doing in Germany to go to the funeral, and it put me in mind of this song. So uh, I took the liberty of changing two or three lines. I don't think, or I hope David won't mind. And uh, so now the song is not about a boyfriend and an ex-girlfriend. It's about two friends, two old friends, one attending the funeral of, uh, of another. So uh, this is the song in question. It's a song called Heart in My Soul. Handlers. Oh. <laughs> Mind you, the worst place, you know the worst place for baggage? Skip on that door. <laughs> I've seen Dutch baggage handlers play football with my guitar on a rare occasion. Yeah. Me trapped on the plane, banging out the door. Stop! No. Oh. Alright, I think we're in tune. Heart in my soul. There's a funeral this morning Someone I used to know haven't seen him in a short while But not so long ago We were thick as these A friendship that we swore Thought he would stay forever But he walked right out the door Sunlight, his face against the dark. He was stronger back in those days, and he always was street smart. And somewhere in this traveling life, good friends we became, and he could. This world and all its shame He left his heart in my soul The kind that never grows old He left his heart in my soul Of just what brought him down. I heard a lot of different things. All I know is his time ran out. There's a funeral this morning. The angels gathered round. To take one of their number Back up to higher ground And I hope one day I will see him again Standing at the bar Where the pain of losing has been left 
behind with the rain and the funeral car. He left his heart in my soul, the kind that never grows old. He left his heart in my soul. to sell you so uh, <clears throat> and and if uh, on some of the, uh, the chairs there are some leaflets there's one with me with a, a gray beard looking like my father that just tells you about all my old records that people haven't bought so I've still got available but there's also a postcard with a picture of me in a, a rather nice blue safari suit and next to my wife in a rather striking blonde wig and we formed a band called My Darling Clementine and uh, made an album uh, last year called How Do You Plead? And the idea behind the record was to evoke the great country duets of the late 60s and early 70s. People like uh, George Jones and Tammy Wynette, Johnny Cash and June Carter, Dolly Parton and Porter Wagner. So if that's your kind of thing and you like that kind of music, buy this record tonight. You will be so happy that you did. You will go home enriched and you'll drive home or your cycle home, should you have a CD player on your bicycle, will be all the better for it. We made the record um, with uh, some amazing musicians. The album is produced by a guy called Neil Brockbank, who's produced the last uh, five or six Nick Lowe records. The piano player on the album is a guy called Geraint Watkins, an amazing piano player, played with Van Morrison and uh, Bill Wyman, he's Nick Lowe's piano player, brilliant sort of country and rock and roll piano player. The guitar player is Martin Belmont, who played with Graham Parker in the room and played with Elvis Costello, who's played with Johnny Cash. Great. Anyway, as you can see, I'm just on my own. I don't have my Tammy Wynette, sadly, with me tonight. She's at home drinking gin while not looking after our child, probably, or something like that. But, <laughs> but I will play you a couple of the songs as I wrote them before the embellishments. You just have to buy the record to hear all the great playing. But anyway, that's the idea. But these are new songs, by the way. They're not, we're not doing reworkings of old Johnny and June songs. These are all new songs in that style. Here's one. This is a song called Departure Lounge. And uh, as you probably guessed, the song is set in the departure lounge of an airport. Two years ago, our hero of the song met this beautiful woman at the airport and they moved in together and had 12 months of blissful harmony and a wonderful relationship but like in all country songs things started to go downhill pretty soon and within another 12 months she was back at the airport on the plane flying out of his life forever and he was just left in the departure lounge drinking and drinking and drinking he was Dutch, by the way. <laughs> so, she flies off and he's left there just thinking, what went wrong? It's Uncle Departure Lounge. Mm -hmm. Phenomenon. 
categories. Mid-tempo, slow, sad songs. Slow, ballad, slow, sad songs. Up-tempo, foot-tapping, slow, sad songs. Oh. <coughs> Somebody's phone's going on. It's the anti-country music police. They're tapping in to the... Uh, into the uh, PA. So uh, I hope it's time to play one of each. I'll play the, uh, the slow, miserable, sad country songs. Have you all got some beer to cry into? <laughs> Don't worry, your you bar, bar takings will be going up in a minute after this. It's all right. This is uh, a song called By a Thread. Yes, it is. By a Thread this love is hanging by three. Neither of us knowing if it's a life or death, or how long before we fall. I Yeah. 
should just let go And fall away Into the darkness we will fall Between someone and their dreams, but holding on like this, it's not the answer for us now. So you fall your way and I'll fall mine, then we'll see what's left behind if these ties that bind. Still stay strong. Oh, by three, is this love hanging by three? Neither of us knowing if it's a lie. tempo foot tapping slow sad ones okay and the bits where I'm just hitting the guitar in a rather uh, inept way that's where all the great instrumental stuff's going on I can hear it in my head and when you buy the record you'll be able to hear it as well but I'll shout out just so you can hear what's meant to be played when I'm just thrashing away all right what's he talking about <laughs> song called nothing left to say here we go
and you hear my footsteps echo down the hall. And if the door to your dream home has been slammed too many times, well, darling, please give me a call. through tonight so I'm just going to play one more song no one calls any of that stuff it's going to be some great music in there some great music back in here and there's some great music in there so you can drift through the uh, alleyway and drift back before you drift though please um, there are some CDs over here I've only got a few left of this darling Clementine record it's been a big seller in Norway so uh, come and grab one now then uh, I can afford the petrol back to uh, Calais tomorrow um, I'm going to leave you with this song because uh, it's a, a song of hope, and uh, well, I think it is a song of hope. I just love it anyway. During this tour, I've played a, a, as well as doing regular shows. I've done a couple of concerts. Uh, one in a, a prison in uh, in Celle, in uh, near Hanover, in Germany, the uh, oldest maximum security prison still working in Germany, and uh, the guys in there were. Uh, in there for a minimum of 15 years. So uh, they've done some serious stuff in their time. And a lot of those guys weren't coming out. And uh, so I played one show for them. And then uh, a week later, uh, up in Norway, I played in a, in a uh, psychiatric hospital. And uh, a lot of those guys weren't coming out either. And um, it's a very challenging thing, but at the same time a really rewarding thing to go into prisons and hospitals and play. It's good because your audience can't escape, that's one thing. But then at the same time, you're not kind of sure, you know, whether they really want you to be there. But, uh, and especially, you know, me playing my miserable songs doesn't really help that mood normally. So, <clears throat> I wanted to end on a song which I thought maybe, you know, <laughs> might uh, send them off in, in good spirit. So, I, I'm going to play you this song. It's, it's, a, not, it's not my song, it's an old song by a great American guy called Marvin Etzioni. He used to be in a band called Lone Justice. I, I recorded this song years and years ago. Um, it's a song called You Are The Light, I suppose in a way it's a kind of gospel song, but uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be a song praising God or anything of a higher spirituality. The light in question could just be, you know, your husband, your wife, your brother, sister, close friend, whoever it is that helps you get through. And uh, so I'll leave you this one. And uh, thanks very much, it's been lovely to come back to Kielpunt. Uh, <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the evening. Where are you going to? All right. So uncle, you are the lamp. You are the light in my dark world. You are the fire that we we'll always burn. You are. When everything seems hopeless You know how to love me When I can't stand on my own Just love me now You are the light in my
in my time of indecision. Oh, how you shine, you're gonna give this boy some vision. You know how to let go. When I can't stand on my own, don't let go now. You are the light in my dark world. You are the fire that will always burn. You are.